whether you're the government in power or an opposition party hoping to be in government at some point in the future, the truth is you may need propagandists to run your information machinery during an election, but you need communicators to do it after the election. There is a reason why most nations open up only a small window of time for campaigning. The reason is that no nation can sustain peace, progress, and development if it is in a campaign mode for too long because of the divisive nature of campaigns. When an election is over, all parties must bury the hatchet and look ahead. You cannot face the past and the future at the same time. You cannot settle scores and settle problems at the same time. You must choose to either progress or remain in a campaign mode. As I have said in the past, none of us is as smart as all of us. Every hand must be on deck in the struggle to make Nigeria great. But when the government and the opposition behave as if they are still campaigning and are at each other's throat, we cannot progress. It is commonly said that when two elephants fight, it is the grass that suffers. In this case, the grass and Nigerian citizens. But now, both the government and the opposition should have realized that trading insults is a crime against Nigeria that is punished by the foreign media. They will take the missiles that we direct at each other and write stories that criticize our leaders, destroy our institutions, and make us look silly to the rest of the world. We must refrain from saying negative things about Nigeria and each other to the foreign media. What I expect of the government is to reel out its plans for developing Nigeria. What I expect of the opposition is to field a shadow government that will counter with their own ideas. Let the competition be about ideas rather than insults. You do not see foreign leaders traveling to Nigeria to criticize their country. So why should our leaders travel abroad to criticize Nigeria? Enough is enough. Remember, we have no other nation but Nigeria. And whatever challenges we may have, Nigeria is still our country. Let us project to the world the positive things that are happening in Nigeria, rather than the negative things that have happened. You can download this entire video for free on my website, benbruce.org. My name is Ben Murray Bruce, and I just want to make common sense.